Greetings, true friends. Welcome back to Lustria. I thought to have a little look at this absolute bulking ton of a lad, Nakai the Wanderer, since my last episode was quite well received and I felt it uh, appropriate to look at this uh, mad cunt too. And when I say bulking ton, I actually got the name from Moby Dick. I saw a character there was called Bulkington and I thought it was too good to be true. So uh, now you know whenever I say Bulkington something, it's um, I've taken it from Moby Dick and I think it suits quite well into our um, rhetoric on um, this channel and on my Twitter and other social media. So we have this absolute Bulkington. Uh, I think he fits the bill quite well to be a Bulkington. Uh, so we're gonna get into the campaign itself, have a look and uh, see if, um, yeah, see how it looks. So we can see he starts in the creeping jungle here and he is a horde. So um, if you have played Attila, uh, the gothic the Ostrogoths and Visigoths, they um, start off as hordes and then they can settle later on. I don't know how this will work here, but otherwise he can have vassals and he also gets recruitment rank 3 plus for Croxigore Ancient. And uh, he is a Croxigore for those who are unaware of Warhammer lore. Then he has some other cool effects here and starts with some Croxigores and Sacred Croxigore. Absolutely epic. So uh, we'll go with campaign legendary battle hard. I think that is reasonable and uh, we'll get into the game. Then I will elaborate a bit on Bronze Age mindset actually. But I'll see you in the campaign. jungle continent of Lustria lies west across the great ocean. The first men to land upon these shores ransacked an ancient temple, filling their ships with golden treasures. Word spread of their wealth, and others were eager to follow. Fueled by greed, men of the Empire ventured deeper into the jungle's heart. The land of beasts ravaged and plundered for its riches. It will not be without consequence. The jungle stirs. A cold-blooded fury rising to punish the invaders. In the temple cities of Lustria, the lizardmen enact a ritual to call upon their mighty guardian. For the Wanderer roams Lustria once more. The spirit of the jungle made manifest. A reckoning has come. Only the strongest will survive the coming bloodshed. Glass. 
A highly eloquent Laddington, if I may be so bold. So yeah, I... The great plan is under threat, and the world has fallen into disarray. Capture regions, and, and gift them to the defenders of the great plan, so that they may help you restore the old one's designs. I will indeed restore the old one's designs. So, as I was just about to say before, my advisor so rudely interrupted me, I decided to show the introduction trailer there again, because it's uh, quite epic indeed, and, uh, and I also want to say that I posted to Twitter the Port River artwork shot there and said this is from where Bronze Age Pervert is recording his Caribbean Rhythms podcast. Quite interesting if um, if you haven't already listened to one of those. Uh, quite a lot of good takes, but uh, you have to be into some of the uh, fitness side of things to understand some references, etc. by him. So that all being said, we will see what the crack is here with our gallant Nakai here. Um... And yeah, we have uh, him and uh, the rest of the unit, the absolute units. So we're just gonna see here, defeat Jorik Grimm, and then we get favor for every time we illuminate this, um, this bustage. So basically they are hunters who are here in Lustria, and we need to hunt them down to restore order to this place. Roderick Languil, um, a Bretonian knight. And then we have Kalara, which seems to be a wood elf way watcher or something like that. So we have some different things here and we can gift a region. So Mission issued. Defenders of the Great Plan. Gift a region to the Defenders of the Great Plan. And I suppose, uh, since this is yeah the first time I play this particular character, I suppose we can just try to gift this region and see what happens. Boom. Right. Um, <laughs> and as we can see, we are quite heavily outnumbering them. Uh, or out, out uh, matching them at least. For those of you who aren't aware of um, what this means, the yellow is our strength and the red is the enemy's strength. So I'm just gonna auto-resolve that because it wouldn't be such a, such an exciting battle. Now we can gift it to Quetzal's patronage. Aha, and then we get some cool benefits there. For Skinks, Saurus Temple Guard, and uh, what is this? Right, this is for magic, and this is for Croxigores. And since we already have some Croxigore boosts, we're just gonna go full Croxigore. Boom. Wise choice indeed. The defenders of the great plan will now guard this sacred temple for you, in reverence to your chosen old one. Our chosen old one. Absolutely glorious, I would say. So, then we have done this little mission. I suppose we'll uh, head on to some other cool place to defeat some, some heretical entity. We have a uh, scout here. We can actually go down here and see uh, and search these ruins. A puzzle of the old ones. Solving it will grant you many riches. It appears that this is a numeric grid where the rows and columns are of great importance. Aha! A cipher of the old ones. 
Tepok the Inscrutable never liked to repeat himself. So what that could mean is that we cannot go with something that has already been posted. So you see here, this has already been posted there. And we have, of course, not any twos. So there is a, a four up there. And uh, yeah, four there, but we don't have any twos. So it must be this one. Boom, puzzle succeeded. And we've gained the Sword of Strife, uncommon. Noise. So anyway, speaking of Bronze Age Pervert and his Twitter account, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, you can do so as well. Uh, and him, of course, he often posts um, aesthetic physiques in tropical climates, so I thought it was good to mention his work when we are in the jungle here. And also, speaking of which, the Latsbra way to say physique is to say what a sick physique. And the Bronze Age pervert way of saying physique is physique with a Russian accent. So uh, now you know a bit of an internal um, dialogue here. But if you know uh, him, you might appreciate that uh, little insight. So that being said, we have leveled our guy here. We're gonna just take Root Marcher there. Always good to have some extra... Uh, being able to cover distances here in the jungle. Then we're gonna take the turn after... Doing this Horde Growth. It's always a good start, I suppose. Aha, right! Let's see, we can actually... And camp, and uh, yeah, we can upgrade our horde. Um, and then we'll take the turn. Your cold blooded kind are the true guardians of the world, ancient lord. Yet the younger races care little for the designs of the old ones. Deploy your ferocious warriors and wield your most potent sorcery. You shall impose the order you seek. We must make them submit to our aesthetic physiques. So anyway, we will... I want to find someone to initiate a battle with. So we can get a battle in this episode. So we can see the Croxigor Brass in action. I suppose we can find some... Skaven somewhere down here. That would be that would be good, I suppose. We can maybe gift this place to um, someone as well. Then we can upgrade this, and then we get access to some different grand natatorium. But we're gonna save our shekeltons for now, I suppose. So we can build something more fun later. Uh, and I will just take the turn again. See what the crack is. Alright. Let us colonize this place and gift it. And again we will gift it to the Croxigore. Croxigore God. And I do think we can initiate a battle with uh, with these lads. And uh, I will actually do the following so we can get into this as soon as possible. Block army. Uh, yes, we can actually attempt that. Failure. Uh, I did it mostly to see if we could level this guy. Because we will get into combat and then it's always good to have an additional level there. But yeah, I'll take a turn again and see what happens next. Your following grows, mighty lord. Put your new hands to work. Have them raise new infrastructure to improve your camp and further your war effort. Our uh, 
following grows. I wish my YouTube following could grow too, but um, but uh, I suppose I hope for too much. The Skaven have um, disappeared. I can't find them, unfortunately, but uh, I will just keep taking turns till we get into battle. Aha, so we have found Clan Fester. They are over there and uh, we will actually catch them, but I'll first just take this little settlement, which appears to be infested as well. So, um, yeah, um, Borg Sap Scrattle. It needs to be illuminated. Aha, we have uh, our little priest over there. I'm gonna see if we can take these guys. Aha, we can take them quite easily. Uh, we're just gonna do that. It would have been optimal to, um, to have a, a fort battle, but. Uh, uh, it's quite unnecessary to manually fight these battles if they are so uh, lopsided. So maybe these guys will offer more resistance, we'll see. We can uh, actually level this mad cunt. Just gonna go with predatory fighter because I do think this guy is uh, a mad cunt in close combat, so it's uh, it's good. We have a horde upgrade to do. Reactivated cigarette of Kaxuatan. However you might pronounce that, I don't know. But yeah, I'll take the turn again. Find forgotten relics. All right, my friend, let us do this. But first, I want to get into some sort of combat. And I will attack Quetza. Hopefully we can get more of a battle on our hands there, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Maybe we can actually recruit some units. And... Uh, Let's see, right. Aha, I understand, I understand. So here we have different rights we can unlock and we have to unlock the right of mastery. But we need to recruit three Croxigore units before, so I suppose we can actually do that. One, two, three, there. And we can research something fun as well. Sequence of healing sounds absolutely great, mate. You need not fight your enemies alone, my lord, for there are foreign powers sympathetic to your cause. Agreeing a pact of non aggression with a foreign leader will do much to build trust between you. Trade relations or a military alliance may follow. I too have foreign powers sympathetic to my cause. Well, perhaps not foreign powers, but um, a lot of people who are sympathetic to my cause, at least. That is, uh, and of course I mean the uh, the cause for Mother Europe. Now, anyway, we uh, can definitely look at the possibility of uh, Southern Sentinels. We haven't even discovered them, though. Oh well, we have to initiate some sort of friendship talks with them later. And our dear priest has leveled. We're gonna just continue with Harmonic Convergence. And uh, yeah, it increases our melee capacity. Now, Quetza. Boom. And again, normally I would just take this as auto resolve, but since I want to get in a fight here, so you can look at these mad cunts, I'm just going to fight it manually anyway. Right, we are in the battle. Looks like we're under 
ground here, and uh, we're just gonna start deployment and uh, start battle and see what fun things we can do here. We're just gonna advance, going to not run because I don't wanna expend all energy. We want to conserve our energy until we are very close, and then uh, then we will uh, charge in. So we have some Saurus as well. Here we have Saurus and this is a Skaven special ability which uh, makes them pop up behind. And we can see our Laddingtons here against the, the puny Skaven. Quite aesthetic Saurus actually. So anyway, we have our uh, wizard here, or our uh, priest. Who... Uh, must cast spells and this our skin cohort devilins will not want to be in melee combat that's a misuse of them now we're drawing closer to their the enemy lines so we might get in uh, might be able to charge here boom we can have a close up look at the Carnage here. And our Mad Count there, and of course our Croxigore lines. Everything has to charge in and break them. Primal Roar. Okay, let's let's go, champ. This absolute, absolute unit. Look at this. Wow, Mirin. He is uh, causing, uh, causing chaos and mayhem there. And yeah, the, it's absolutely fine if they uh, rampage. They can, as long as they are within the um, enemy lines. And I'm gonna boost Nakai here with this magic. So you see some extra melee defense, armor and melee attack. Perfect for um, a monster such as him. Then we're gonna place our missile units behind here so we can get a re nice rear shot on this, uh, on this Skaven. have the Saurus coming in with a nice rear charge there as well. So here. Boom, nice one mate. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately they have some sort of wizard and there he is. You can see it on, he has a star on his banner. It means that he is a uh, general. So we have to defeat him so he can't cast any more magic upon us. And we have another magic available for us and we're just gonna cast it upon these lads so they can make shorter work out of uh, those Skaven brass. These are isolated here. Hopefully they won't run. You can see this grey bar right here is their leadership. Whereas the green bar is their uh, hit points, so... Um, but it looks like victory is within our grasp anyway. Just gonna make sure our priest here doesn't die in the hands of these uh, clan rats. Alright, I speeded up the end of the combat there and we have a glorious victory on our hands. So end battle. Close victory. Good stuff. Close victory. Boom. And uh, yeah, we'll just continue with uh, Gift for Itzel. So, there we are. And uh, yeah, if you have watched this far, comment below what you are training today or what you will train. 
because it's of utmost importance that whenever we are into gaming territory that we always distribute some glorious pills and some iron pills and uh, truly promote gym culture so that's what we are about in the uh, in this particular crusade in uh, in the gaming community to just get as many gamers into the temple of iron as possible so if someone stumbles upon my channel they see a lot of comments talking about what you will be training or what you have trained they will think oh maybe i should start going to the gym as well because it's a it's a good thing to do so uh, thank you for watching and uh, comment below what you will train or what you have trained and i will see you in coming videos xoxo boom